What's up, Punchers? It's another episode of Controller Punch. I'm Andrew, your host, and I'm here with Racky. Hey, how's it going? And today, we're looking at Infamous. Looking, we're playing, we're loving. This is a great game. I've not had this much fun reviewing a game since... Oh, fuck, what? Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Mad World. <laughs> yeah, Mad World, yeah. I don't know, like, this game is fucking gorgeous. More than just gorgeous, this is... A game with a fully realized world. Sucker Punch, the development studio, should be congratulated for their effort on this title. I wish I could shake their hands. Yeah, I mean, going from, what, the Sly Cooper series to this certainly illustrates the growth in the company. Well, I mean, I'm just happy that they've finally built a game that doesn't make me want to take it to the backyard and shoot it with a shotgun, because I hate raccoons. But this is a nice adult M-rated... Actually, it's not M-rated. It's a teen-rated game that uh, is, is just great. It, yeah, I mean... It's... Uh, I've had so much fun in this fucking game. Uh, Electricity-based powers, and that's pretty much all you get, but there's a lot of versatility that they, you know, kind of uh, make you realize with that. Well, I mean, the thing I think they did is it almost feels like they looked at a bunch of other games that were out on the market, took the best things about them, and then upped, it up, upped the quality even more. So, like, you have the Force Lightning, the Force Push from... Force Unleashed, yep. you have grinding and that kind of mechanic from like a Tony Hawk series, yes. and, and then you also have um, just the free roaming GTA element, but with more of a storyline. Well, and back to the free roaming thing, it's very free roaming as like, you know, you're very involved with your environment, you're crawling all over the place, it's very urban, ur I guess, I think it's called urban scaling or something, where urban you running, yeah, urban running, where you're running on everything. Well, I mean, in that sense, it's almost like this is, in a third-person view, what Mirror Edge, Mirror's Edge was trying to capture. They were trying to capture that free-running, go-anywhere, think-on-your-feet kind of deal. But, but without, like, that nauseating kind of first-person, like, just well, rolling around in crap. Well, like, whereas Mirror's Edge, you could only ever do one pathway through the city. You have literally thousands in this one. Alright, now, the list of great things about this game is fairly long. Um, the controls, fucking awesome. Well, it's like a hot latte. So smooth and delicious. Yeah, it was, um... Very unfrustrating. That, yeah. That's that's the greatest thing about it, is never once are you frustrated with can, this game. Yeah, being able to do so much with, like, you know, limited combos and stuff like that is not an, not an issue with this game. I mean, you can do a lot. Everything's right at your fingertips. You don't have to, like, memorize stupid fucking combos or nothing. Um... Graphics? Wonderful. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Definitely showcasing some of the power of the PS3, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. And, I mean, you know, you're not having a problem with death perception during, like, some of the jumping puzzles. Uh, everything's pretty much... Seamless. Very. I don't know about you, but I didn't have any issues with the camera at all. Yeah, it was very unintrusive. I mean, like, fucking... You it can point it in one direction, and it'll stay there. You run, and it follows you. And, you know, it gives you a very good, like, line of sight with what you're trying to aim at. It definitely behaves. Now, this is... All the footage in this video is capped from our second playthrough of the game. We actually played through it first, uh, doing all the good missions. Yeah, and, and then, then uh, we did it again with the, uh... Evil side. Yeah, because it does have a karmic system uh, that it works on, where you can either be the hero or the anti-hero. Yeah, I'd say it's karma light. You know, you can really only choose one or the other. Yeah, it, after it, you make your choice, stick with it and play through the game. That way, yeah, because that's the only way you're going to unlock the all the abilities, especially the upper level ones. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's break this down. Good gameplay. Check. Awesome fucking controls. Afraid so. Good graphics. Definitely. Overall, like, atmosphere of the game, storyline and all that? Gorgeous. Awesome. Worth the 69. This is a must-own PS3 title. I mean, this will make Xbox fanboys weep, so you should shove it in their face. Hear that? Go buy it. Controller punch, out.